why popping audio should be gone. Hopefully. Hopefully the popping noise is out of here. What's up, everybody? I hope you guys are doing well. Happy Tuesday. What? Ru is streaming on a Tuesday evening? What the hell is going on? As a reminder, in case you guys missed it, I am not streaming Friday. This Friday afternoon, I am not streaming. I am, uh, that stream is going to be canceled. Um, because it's basically 80% positive, so I'm just going to say 100% positive. No stream this Friday. So, because of that, are you serious, bro? The popping audio is back. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, damn it. Um, what I was saying is, uh, this Friday stream is canceled. I am not going to be streaming this Friday evening. The Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core Reunion stream is going to be tomorrow at the usual time. And so today, we are doing Wednesday stream. And we have got the Unicorn Overlord demo. We're going to be checking out this bad boy uh, for probably the next couple weeks. Probably the next couple of Wednesdays, or technically like today, Tuesday, next week, Wednesday. We'll be checking out the Unicorn Overlord demo until we uh, finish it, more than likely. Um, or I will bring back Kakarot in between. So I might bring in Kakarot back in between some Overlord, uh, Unicorn Overlord demo uh, streams if I get the uh, grinding done. I haven't been doing any grinding for Kakarot because it's boring as hell. And um, I usually only do that while I'm watching um, Dragon Ball Z. But I started my replay of Tales of Berseria. Or not a replay of Tales of Berseria. I started my like seventh replay of Tales of Berseria. So I'm not doing any grinding for Kakarot. So we got other streams right now to do. So let's check out the demo. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's see what this game is cooking. I have no idea what it's about. Zero clue. For the most part. Chat has told me certain things here or there. Certain nit bits of information regarding this game. But for the, for the really, like honestly, like what do I actually know? You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyways. Um, enable fast forward and cutscenes? Hell no. Um, auto advance dialogue? Hell no. I hate auto advancing dialogue. Turn that ish off. Auto advanced wait time, don't know what the hell that means. Voice language, give me that Japanese greatness in my voice. I mean in my eardrums, give me that Japanese voice in my eardrums, absolutely. Music volume, I'm actually gonna turn this down. So let's turn down the sound effect to like a 90. And then let's bring down the music volume to like a 95 maybe. Uh, let's bring down the music volume to like a 95. Uh, we'll bring it down to a 90. If it's too low with the uh, music in this game for you guys on the stream, let me know and I'll go ahead and adjust it, but hopefully it's good to go. Hey, what's up, Mars? Welcome to the stream, bro. Glad you could make it. Thank you for stopping by. Happy uh, Tuesday. I hope you're doing well. What's good? What's good? Also, congrats on the fic. Thank you very much. Once again, she does it again. Once once more, she does it again, delivering the goodness, the greatness. Um, This is like the fourth one now. I actually haven't read it yet. I actually have not read the fic yet. I'm, I, I am in savoring that for after the stream. Um, savoring that ish for after the stream. Um, cause you know, if I read it before the stream, I wouldn't be here right now. So, uh, I don't know if you read it, cause it is available to the public. Um, auto run, turn that off. Auto pause at start of stage. The game will not automatically pause at the beginning of a battle stage. Turn it on. The game will automatically pause at the beginning of a battle stage. I don't know what that means, but turn it on. Okay, that looks like that's it. Um, for me, I have auto advance, but I read the text fast anyways. Well, right, but I'm, I'm, um, I have it in Japanese. So, it's in Japanese voicing, and in order for me to read the subtitles to you guys, I, I kind of needed to not progress fast, you know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> But I feel you, I feel you. When you're playing on your own, absolutely. Um, alright, let's get it started, let's get it going. Begin! I have no idea what to- I don't know how this is gonna start, I don't know who the MC is. I know- I, the only person I know is this Black Lady Knight. Wait, have you, uh... Have you- okay, perfect, you can't pause. Have you played this game, Mars? Oh my gosh, the audio is loud. Is the audio too loud for you guys? Can you hear me talking right now? Like, can you guys hear my voice? Because on my side of things, damn, this is loud. Oh, um, I gotta turn my voice- I gotta turn it down, I gotta turn it down. My gosh. Okay. Um, have you played this game, Mars? I can't remember. I think I believe I remember you talking about it. Yeah, I think you did actually. I, I do vaguely remember you talking about how this was one of the um. You either played this game or you're interested in playing this game because I know recently you played Odin Sphere. Okay, so we got knights on horseback. Okay, okay. I can take screenshots, perfect.
Ooh, who do we have here? Who is this? Who is this? We have a silver haired baddie? Bro, we have a silver haired baddie? Who the hell is this, bro? Um, oh, you have not? Wait, so do you not mind seeing this then? Um, do you not mind seeing the game? Like, are you, are you gonna, I'm not gonna be streaming the full game anytime soon. I'm only doing the demo for now. But uh, if, if you end up not playing this before I actually stream the full game, are you still gonna come through? Like, do you not mind? Um, but I like Rosalinde. Rosalinde? Who the heck is that? You like Rosalinde. I will try to remember. I will try to remember that. Um, 13 Sentinels is what I recently played. I talked about that, or Orden Sphere being the best vanilla rare game. Yes, that's right. 13 Sentinels, obviously I remember that, but Orden Sphere was the previous one. I remember. I thought so, I thought so. I just wasn't completely positive if you played this or not, or just interested in it, because I remember you talking about it. Or we talked about it in chat with Moose and the others. I beg you, my queen. Okay, so she's a queen. I beg you, my queen, take leave of this place while you're still evil. Oh my god. Her voice. Her voice, though. Wait, do we have a dialogue box? Is there a dialogue box here? This game is peak. This game is peak. It has a dialogue box. You can replay the voice audio. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I like to see. It's all good. The demo is just the beginning, so I'll see it anyways. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, for sure, for sure. Hey, what's up, Kaiser? Welcome into the stream, homie. Um, happy day. I hope you're doing well. What's good? What's good? Are you also a fan? Um, have you um have you played this game? Are you a vanillaware fan? Um, or are you just coming through to hang out? But either way, you're always more than welcome. What's up? What's up? I hope you've been well. What you been up to? Bro, I love her voice. Oh my god. Uh, to where I might ask? Nigh every last of Cornea's lords has forsaken us in favor of the traitor Balmor. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, so we have Elenia. We have Elenia. To where I might ask, every last of Cornea's lords. So I believe in Cornea is probably a location. I'm going to assume Cornea is a location here. Um, has forsaken us in favor of the traitor Balmor. So we got a traitor already. Okay, okay, okay. Talk to me. We got a traitor Balmor. We got a queen Elenia. So I heard a baddie. Talk to me. Let's get it. No refuge remains for a crowned fugitive. Mm. Uh, nope, not yet. I'm going to do a hangout. Ah, uh, okay, okay, you haven't played it yet, you're just hanging out. Well, of course, you're more than welcome. You're free to stay as long as you want. I'm only going to be going for about a couple hours today. Um, usually the weekday streams, besides, like, Fridays, of course, I don't go for too much long, uh, uh timing-wise. But I hope you enjoy your stay. I've also played Murama uh, Muramasa Rebirth and Dragon's Crown. Both are great games. What the heck is Muramasa Rebirth? What is that? Muramasa Rebirth? What the frick, dude? What is that? I've heard of Dragon's Crown. Dragon's Crown is uh, among the list of games I do want to check out. Uh, both are great games. Mm. Also, you said the game is peak when it replays voice dialogue, eh? So you will like Fate Samurai Remnant then? Oh, Fate Samurai Remnant also has the replay voice dialogue box? Hey, let's get it, bro. I just need the game to go on sale, man. Actually, maybe I'll get it this week. There is, I, I, I do, I, I am planning on making a trip to GameStop on Thursday. Because it's going to be my birthday. So... I might, I might just go ahead and get the fake game, because dude, like, what, like, Switch games rarely ever go on, like, an actual meaningful sale, you know what I mean? Like, it's super rare where you get it for 50% off, usually that's, like, the PlayStation, so my, I might just get the fake game, screw it. Let's go, let's, 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 let's get to cooking. Uh, what's up, Moose? Welcome into the stream, homie. Glad you could make it. Uh, we're just, uh, we're just getting things started here. I have met Elenia, the silver-haired baddie queen over here. Uh, we got mention of uh, a traitor. You know I like that. Oh, I like it. I like it. Oh, 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 I like it.
uh, Arceus Legends. I was slightly debating on getting Pokemon um, Legends Arceus, so we'll see. Though I recommend getting it on PS. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So you do- Oh, I, I totally forgot that it's on the PlayStation. I thought it was a Switch exclusive. I mean, I thought it was a Switch exclusive. My dumbass. Um, okay. So you recommend getting it on the PlayStation. The Switch version is kind of rough. That's your warning. Ah, in that case, I might have to wait for a sale then, unfortunately. If you're recommending me to specifically get that fake game on the PlayStation console, I am more than likely going to end up waiting for a sale then. Because, like, dude, for sure Black Friday will go on, like, 50% off. Like, are you kidding me? Um, I'll have to think about it. I'll have to think about it. Decisions to make. Decisions to make. But if I end up getting it, I'll absolutely let you know. 1,000%. Muramasa Rebirth is a Vanillaware game set in feudal Japan. You follow two different protagonists that are interchangeable, a ninja with amnesia and a princess possessed by a spirit. Wait, what? A ninja with amnesia and a princess possessed by a spirit? What the hell? Wait, what is this called again? Muramasa Rebirth? Okay, 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 hold on, hold on. I, I, I got, I'll, I'll have to, I'll have to, um, I'll have to check that out. I'll have to check that out. Are you kidding me? What? Um, I'll see where it's available, what it, what it costs like, and whether or not I want to add it to the streams. Um, no worries, let me know when you do get it though. Of course, absolutely, I'll definitely make sure. Though you still can, a soul rider with a lane at your side. Joseph, What? Yes, the general seeks my death and mine alone. I shall not flee from that fate, but you still can. Ah, okay, okay. So this traitor general Valmor wants to kill Queen Elenia, and she so she's not gonna run away from that fate. She's gonna confront it, but she wants this guy to leave. She wants Yosef to dip along with Elaine. Who the hell is Elaine? Take him, Yosef. Okay, so it's a dude. Elaine is a guy. Um, take him, Yosef. Raise that delicate seedling into a sturdy tree, capable of weathering the harsh climbs that awaits. Okay, okay. <laughs> Ring of the Unicorn? And pray safeguard the Ring of the Unicorn as well? Okay, so maybe there is a reasoning why this damn game is called Unicorn Overlord. <laughs> hold it close, uh, hold it close to you until Elaine is a man grown. He will have need of the power it bears. Okay, we have a ring of power. Okay, okay. Talk to me. Elenia-sama. Elenia-sama, my queen. I... Is that Elaine? Oh, that's the prince. Okay, okay. So Elaine is the prince. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. And then she's his mom. Okay. They're coming for us, aren't they? Our enemies. I like his voice also. The voice acting in this game already is so good. Bro, I love her design, bro. Oh my god. Elaine, hear my words well. I, I say this not as your mother. This is an order as your queen. Oh, that's how you know shit's serious. From here forth, you are to treat Yosef's command as though it were spoken directly from my mouth. Do you understand? Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, hi. Mother? Is something wrong? Joseph. I'll be counting on you, Yosef. My faith and more lies with you. I only pray that it is enough. Farewell. And may the heavens guide you. And then she just rushes out to battle. By herself. Bro, this game looks amazing already. Like, it's really gorgeous. Wow. Vanilla Ware with the freaking visuals, man. Um, this game looks so good. I know, right? I freaking love how they do, like, the, uh, I, I'm just gonna call it graphics to keep it simple. I freaking love the graphics and the, well, at least the one Vanilla Ware game I played so far, 13 Sentinels. 
but so far already this game is gorgeous, it's beautiful. The voice acting, the audio, the sound bite, the effects, it's got everything so far, I like what I'm seeing. Why are you just standing there, Yosef? Aren't you going to help her? No, I'm, I'm here to her, I'm serving you now. So I'm not going to would that I were able, my prince? Prince, we have to, uh, we don't have a minute to spare. We gotta get out of here. Okay. Oh? So this is Dalmor the traitor. Bar all exits to the city. The queen is not to lead these walls alive. So is this like the gameplay? Our great general reduced to little more than a base trader. Hmm? Oh, so that used to, so trader. Uh, she she used to be like her her biggest one of her main generals. Okay. You will find my head not so easily parted from my soldier. Uh, oh my god. You will find my head not so easily parted from my shoulders, Balmor. I wonder if you can say the same. Ooh, she knows how to talk her shit too. I like it. Podrick? Bro, look at the dude, the, the designs of these characters though. Come everybody, we march this day for Her Majesty Elenia. Okay, this has to be gameplay here. What is this OST? Whoa! What is this OST, bro? Um hello? Oh my god, this is fire! This song is the banger! What the hell is going on? Is this like the is this a gameplay theme song? Is this a battle theme? Like what is this? There's no reason for it to be this raw. What in the world is going on? This is gonna be my first time seeing the gameplay too. Oh really, you two as well. Nice, nice, nice. So we get to uh, hopefully a lot of us get to experience this together. If you've already played the game or seen some stuff, hopefully you kinda enjoy watching it through my lens. Um, but this song is crazy. This is this is insane. This is this is a this is a certified 100% banger right here. Time for the rawest song ever, bro. This is this song is nuts. It is pretty insane. Move the cursor with your L stick to select allied units. Select with L to select. Wait, what? Move the cursor to select allied units. Command them to move across the battle stage. Select Queen Elenia's units. And use the move command to make them march toward Balmor's position. What? Vanilla we're still killing it with the music you already know. Bro, you already freaking know, bro. You already know, man. Wait, so what am I supposed to do here? So this is what the gameplay map looks like? So this is what you guys were talking about, like how, um... Uh, each unit has like a multiple of command like units or something like that. You guys are trying to tell me. Wait, what the heck is that bottom left corner? Bradley's units? Level 4 Level 40? Level 48? What the heck is happening? This is so um I'm a little bit confused as what this is supposed to be. So like you have like a main unit and then within a main unit you have other units it looks like or some shit like that? I don't know. Okay, so we gotta select here. Details? Bro, I love how this looks. I love how this looks. What is this? Steel Spear? Renault? A Great Knight? White Rider Shield? Gold Bangle Cloth Gauntlets? Um, in this battle you are forced to walk towards Valmore for the tutorial. After you, uh, first, after the first fight, you can select where to go freely and walk into other uh, units. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it. The other units on the side have some extra lines if you care to get them. The other units on the side have some extra lines if you care to get them. You mean like dialogue lines? Okay, so we got HP, physical attack, physical defense, magic, magic defense, initiative, accuracy, evasion, critical rate, guard, guard rates, guard rates, tactics, pile thrust, assaulting lance, quick guard, cavalier call. This looks like FF tactics. I don't know what that is. I've never played that. 
is um, FF if is, is FF Tactics like a non-mainstream Final Fantasy game? Because I've never played anything like that before. We got skills. Bro, there's like so much stuff going on right now. We have active skills. We have passive skills. Activates before being hit by a physical attack. Bro, the way they fit, the, the way they spell physical though, I love that. The way they spell physical in this game, I love it. Also, again, guys, this is the first Unicorn Overlord stream. If the audio is too loud and you guys can't hear my voice, then please let me know. Let me know. And I'll go ahead and fix that for y'all. Because my headphones is popping. Cavalier Call. Activates before attacking with an active skill. Grants Cavalry allies in the user's row 20% attack. What? Activates after a cavalry-based ally attacks. Follow up attack a column of enemies with a piercing strike. What the heck, dude? Oh my god. There's so much tech. There is so much tech involved. Jeez. Great knights. So you have different classes and each class has a different um has different abilities and um advantages and disadvantages. Okay, okay, okay. And then we just have a stats menu. Bro, this, this is, this is, this right here is a fire ass lady design, bro. That is peak shit right there, dude. She's got armor, she doesn't really have armor, but she has a shield. She has like a breastplate, you can see her thighs. She's got a big ass sword. Dude, what? Val, oh, she's a Valkyrie. She is a Valkyrie, interesting, interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Um... Let's go ahead and get the other lines. Let's go ahead and get the other lines. FF Tactics is a spin-off, but the director is the same for FF12. Ah, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Don't worry, this unit is already auto-set up, so you can just start a fight and they will do their own thing. There's pretty much no way to lose. Got it, got it, got it. You just had to give me that idea, bro. You just had to give me that idea, bro. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is there, um, is there other, like, Valkyria, uh, outfits? Like, is there different outfits? Judith Valkyria goes great. Okay, alright, alright, okay. Valkyria. I wonder if there's different outfits and stuff for other Valkyria classes. I'm gonna collect them all. And I'm gonna choose the best one, hell yeah. Absolutely. Um, okay. How do I get the lines? Um, you said the other units have a line, Moose. How do I get those? I don't understand, how do I get them? They're not doing anything. No button is working. That's how you zoom in, that's how you zoom out. Okay. Maybe they're like this. Maybe I have to like open them up. Are you sure they have lines? Oh, man. I can't do the details. Yeah, there's nothing for me to do. I, I don't think... Um... Ah, well, whatever. So we got Valor skills. Spend Valor points to use a skill. Spend Valor points to use a skill. Use a currently held item. Wait and recover stamina. Interesting, interesting, interesting. You have to walk towards Valmore first, then after you get into the first battle, you're free. You have to walk towards Valmore first, then after you get into the first battle, you're free. Oh, okay, okay. Look 
Gozo. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, okay. So because they were in my path, I had to. They they ended up engaging me, so now I had to fight them or something. Um, organize, edit your unit formation, equipment, and tactics. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Engage in battle. Okay, we got as a buff. Guarantee critical. Prepare yourself. Uh, all right, lady. Damn, queen. Do your thing, girl. Okay, so he guarded there. Okay, so it's just automatic. So is this the gameplay right here? Is this how it works? It's all just automated? Like you, you set the skills and the abilities, but once you actually get into the fight, it's just auto. Um, you don't actually do anything besides watch. Bro, the freaking dude on the horseback looks tight as well. The guy with the lance and the mustache, they're kind of like his- Yeah, these designs are fire, dude. These character designs are nice. And then we just continue walking? Mm, I see. Wait, so, so wait, I can't like, uh, what happened to the- I thought you said I could talk to people. Too late now, I guess, I don't know. Don't allow me to talk to anybody. Guaranteed critical? Bro, guaranteed crits? Oh, he also has a guaranteed critical. Yeah, she's, she's insane. She's nuts. She's wild. But it happened automatically. Can I pause? Oh, what is this? A battle log? Um, that sorceress? That sorceress design waiting for you too? This game is gonna leave you broke. <laughs> this game is gonna leave me broke. Oh my gosh. Well, I can't wait for it. What do you mean? Now select move with Alenia again and you can move around wherever. But it automatically started moving. Like, I didn't have an ability to control her at all. She just automatically started moving towards Valmor. Are you sure, bro? Yeah, that sorcerer design is yeah. Yeah. That sorcerer design is yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Judith sorcerer, she can she can put a spell on me. Oh, okay, so you have to stop her. Got it, got it, got it. You actually have to stop her here. Okay, okay. There's just not enough references, dude. I, I can't, like, turn it around. I can't, like, go 360 angle and get plethora of references of this outfit. It sucks. Um, wait, so select? Ooh. Set relay point? Adjust route? Let's go here. Oh, okay, we do have lines. Yes. Is that you, your majesty? Surely you weren't planning to run, hmm? Ah, okay, so the big bad general has like a bunch of other former generals that allied with them and they're all like betraying the queen. Interesting. Gyeth of the Feathered Crest? You have all the conviction of a weather, a weather vane coward? What the hell is a weather vane? You have all the conviction of a weather vane coward? What the hell is a weather vane? And no patience for field mice either? Oh, damn. Okay, okay, they're, 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 they're all right, all right. We're talking some ish. We're talking some trash over here. I like that. I like that. If I were you, I'd wash my tongue. Unless you find it cut from your skull. Man, you're so violent, bro. Come, we've got a little time to waste here. Valmore awaits. Oh, it's literally just dialogue. I can't actually fight them.
Abandon this fleeting hope, your majesty. You won't escape, Bradley. Oh my god, that armor. That armor is clean, dude. What? That, that helmet, though? Forsaking your sworn le uh, liege, are you? You bring shame to your knightly vows. <laughs> Perhaps you should worry about your own predicament rather than lecture me on mine. Come, we've had little time to waste here. Valmore awaits. I think I have to go around, right? I think if I proc Valmore right here, I'm going to miss the other dialogue, I'm going to assume. If you walk into Valmore, the, the section ends, so you have to walk around him if you want to get the guys on the other side. Okay, okay, that's what I thought. Which is why I came back here. So if I do this... Nice, nice. Is there, a, is, is there a way to walk faster? Oh, this is a fight! Alright, that's fine, let's do it, let's duke it out. And then meantime, I'm gonna grab some food. walking towards them if they if you're like in their range maybe they start walking towards you to engage in a fight I don't really know I don't really know to be honest okay this is another engage in battle Hodel now now my queen you know I can't let you through villain to what end have you betrayed the crown huh <laughs> The only master I bow to is one with the might to rule, and Balmor has proven himself more than worthy. Though perhaps I would reconsider should Her Majesty claim his head. Oh wait, what the heck? They just auto-engaged me. That was new. So I guess the enemies can just move then. Like, like, like the previous game that we're talking about, like Nintendo's. Kind of, I guess, I don't know. よし。I think this will be another dialogue here. Rayman? A valiant effort, your majesty, but I'm afraid there's no escape for you. Look who's, uh, her name is Alkina, Alkina, Alcina? I don't know. Look who's come crawling out of his cellar. Who knew all it would take was a little treason? Bro, who the frick is this sorceress lady? Mock me all you want, witch. You'll never understand the value of my research. Ah, so he is a mad scientist. I was about to say, okay, that's all the dialogue. That is all the dialogue. Is that how it works? Uh, is that only for this scene, Moose? That how that dialogue stuff works? Or is that in other, like, past this de demo section as well? Like, past this beginner initial section, does that apply for other fights too? Or is that just, like, a thing for this game? 
I mean, not for this game. I think for this specific color section right here. Oh, let's do it. Oh, what is this? Oh my god, dude, the backgrounds are so gorgeous, dude. So freaking beautiful, man. This is different. Uh, seize the majesty. Okay, all right. Valmore General? Uh, to what end do you seek to usurp my throne? What are you after? Okay, Frieza. Self-centered fool. It's not merely your throne I aspire towards. It's all of them. I'm going to rule the world. What do you mean? What? Zenoria? What the heck is a Zenoria? Zenoria are the rightful sovereigns of Bebrit? Okay, so I'm assuming Bebrit is this world. I'm assuming Bebrit is that the, is the world we're in. And maybe Zenoria is like a region or something, like some sort of kingdom or empire or something like that. Zenoria are the rightful sovereigns of Bebrit. And I, the blade to restore our world to its natural order. Okay. Mostly for this battle. Got it, got it. But there are certain battles where you can get extra lines if you use specific units to fight bosses, but it's pretty minor. Oh, really? So it's like, is it kind of like something like hidden lines? You have to really like try to seek it out. Sama. Sama. You... You mean to seek to plunge the continent into war? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, uh... Devrith is the continent, the, the world we're in. Kind of like Valestia, for example. Or uh, FS16. Huh. Devrith need not suffer your delusions. A proper ruler demands unity, not pointless politicking. Politicking? Uh, po politics? with insufferable neighbors? I shall now achieve that unity through conquest and reclaim that which is rightfully mine. That's all there is to it. Okay, 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 okay. So, assassin. I won't let you. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she's dead. I'm almost more than positive she died. Wait, we're on the outskirts? I promise you, my queen. I mean, I promise you, um, El Elaine, uh, my queen. The royal lineage shall endure. This but a great shame I couldn't aid you further. Okay, I like how they're doing that moving scene, by the way. That was really nice. Yeah, of course she died. It was predictable. Baltro, all has gone according to plan, my lord. Who the heck is this old sage, dude? That you, dude. He's probably a problem. Boucher over here, he's probably a major, um, he's probably a major issue. According to my, oh no, according to plan, not my plan, to plan. All has gone according to plan, my lord. Okay. <laughs> and yet our work only just begins. We stand now at a new dawn for Febrith, one which will see Zenoria's do dominion restored at last. It is, I am curious though, we have no trace of the old knight's captain. About that, my lord, a lone cavalry unit was spotted riding through the eastern gate before it was barred. You fools! Irenia. So this is Elenia's doing. The, the boy is lost to us, a truth obscured only by his mother's futile attempt at a counter-offensive. Wait, so is this going to be a revenge story? Is this a lane boy gonna grow up wanting a revenge for his slain mother? 
It would seem I underestimated her penchant for deception. Mm. Okay, so that's how we start. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, what is this? Oh? You're uh, 895 of the Hallowed Chronicle. Claiming himself a scion of the fallen Zenorian Empire. Cornea's once decorated general Balmor rebelled. Against his erstwhile home at the seat of its monarchy, Grand Corrine. Oh, wait, oh, it actually pauses. Year 895 of the Hallowed Chronicle? Okay, alright, sure. Claiming himself a scion of the fallen Zenorian Empire? Cornea's once decorated general, Balmor rebelled against his erstwhile home at the seat of its monarchy, Grand Corrine. Ooh, that shot though! Bro, is this Aizen? Bro, is this Aizen speaking? Well, I swear on everything, this is Aizen's big voice actor right there. I don't know why, I just feel it. I could be completely wrong though. It's Queen Elenia, bold in the face of, his, of this staggering betrayal, stood unshrinking as the shield to her son, Elaine's safe flights, and mustering what meager forces remained by her side, she rallied a defense as valorous as it was damned. Ooh! She rallied a defense as valorous as it was damned. Okay, that's kind of fire. That's kind of a bar. Osana <laughs> Yeah, we're getting a lot of words. I feel like this is going to be a game where I should really take notes, but I'm end up not going to because I haven't taken notes for a stream in a long time. Maybe I should bring it back, huh? Maybe when we stream the full game, I got to bring back the notepad out. It's been a long time. I think it's been like over a year since I brought out the notepad for a stream. With Cornea's queen lost, care of the young prince fell to her faithful knight Yosef, who took wing beyond Balmor's wretched grasp to asylum on the for fornant isle of Palebia in the holy kingdom of Albion. Okay, so we got multiple kingdoms in this universe. Makes sense. We got an isle of Pal Palebia, and that's where he fled. Okay. Ooh, I love the color change. I love how they changed the color of that map there. Very nice visual. And boldly proclaiming himself Bebert's new emperor, Balmor donned a second name, Galerius, and began a relentless onslaught the continent's nations could only but struggle against. Okay. Oh. Oh. The game has a pretty expansive glossary built in that tracks just about everything you could need. Oh, perfect, perfect. Yet each realm's endeavors fell in vain time and time again, and ear long, Zenoria's vile dominion was realized. Okay, I think I like where this game is going, by the way. Galerius Kotewa. His blood-soaked unification come to bear, few dared stand against the ironclad fist of Emperor Galerius. Bro, he wasn't playing, bro. He got every single land, dude. He actually accomplished what Frieza wishes. Balmor wasn't playing. He got everybody. He got all the lands. All he controls the continents. Interesting. We actually starting off with the villain controlling everything, taking over completely. Interesting. Interesting. Blood-soaked conquest. Quote unquote unity. Hmm. Fear few dare to stand against the ironclad fist of Emperor Galerius. But what's up with that lane? What's up with that person? What happens with that dude? That little boy. <laughs> Oh, 
人々は圧政にあえぐ中ただ天を仰ぐほかなかったいつの日か救いが現れることを祈って Embers of resistance burned on, yet the downtrodden could cling only to a furtive or futile, a futile hopes of liberation. Desperate prayers which fell upon deaf ears night after unceasing nights. Oh my god, this is. The, the, the narration right now is popping off, bro! Kornia Metsuo Kara. Ten years have passed since the shroud of war first set over Cornea. Okay, 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 okay. Talk to me, game. Wait, what the heck? What happened? The Unicorn Ring? Is this like a title? Is that a title of the next chapter? Altar of the Unicorn and Maiden? Oh, who the heck is this? Bro, the character designs so far are just like non stop, like, just really good. Also, her, her freaking boob, 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 oh my gosh, her booba, her chest. She's got melons. Um, the outfit is adorable though. Who the heck is this? Shrine of the what? Altar of the horse in the shrine, what? Altar of the unicorn and maiden? Okay. Her name is Scarlet. With the double T's. I wonder if those two are added again. Okay. Well that, well, that take care of the altar. I suppose I should be getting back. Back where? Where are we? Oh my god, the music. Oh my god, the music. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, uh, presented by Alice. Sound production by Base Escape. Bro, are they not gonna do they not mention Vanillaware at all? Like, what the hell? Oh, there we go. Developed by Vanillaware. There it is. Developed by Vanillaware. I like where this game is going already. I'm, I'm quite enjoying the prospects here. Who the heck is the redhead? Oh, that's Elaine grown up? Oh, interesting. That's Elaine all grown up? Dude, he looks kind of nice. I like the blue and the red contrast. Who the heck is this next guy? I like the red head. The red, the red, the red color looks so good. The hairstyle. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. Sorry, Elaine, but this round's mine. So we got the boy. He's grown up now. He's not like an adult, adult, but he looks like what in his teen years, maybe. You've only seen Thirteen Sentinels, which had to be kind of samey because school uniforms. Right, 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 right. And sci-fi. But now you'll see them really pop off now that they're back in a fantasy setting. Oh, yeah, that's true. Because while 13 Sentinels does have fire character designs, um, like how you mentioned, due to the like the nature of the game, there are some restrictions there involved. But they had free reigns with this fantasy setting, so I'm going to see all sorts of things. Okay, I can't wait. Um, at least for the demo, at least. Um, more than likely, it's pretty much 100% guaranteed that I'll be streaming this game later on this year, for the most part. Uh, he looks like Adolf from Yeast. Yeah, he kind of does. He kind of does. I'll take you on. You always were the optimist. Oh, the, the voice. Oh, Elaine's voice. Ugh. You got a good hit in? I'll give you that. There's not bad. There's just no stopping you these days. You two Rex, you've grown no less than I have. Joseph, no, you need to. What are you talking about? Still, we could likely train for the rest of our lives and even then never manage to beat Joseph. No, you have to, bro. You have no other choice. You have to beat him. Joseph, Samaga. So, yeah, Hondo, the Kaiho Gun, or Jumbi, Oh, Liberation Army. Weird to think he's back on the mainland now, finally making that Liberation Army thing a reality, huh? Guess that means we'll be fighting against Zenoria soon? Ah, ah so it does. That's right. Okay, alright, I got the chills, bro. The people of Cornea are suffering, Lex, crying out for whatever help will hear their pleas. <laughs> 
Dude, I love his voice actor. I'm not sure who it is. I kind of need to look it up, but I love the voice for him. Should I turn a deaf ear to those voices? I would have little and less claim to the crown I feel is mine. Okay, talk to me, kid. Oh, let's get it, bro. Damn. I like it. That and I owe it to my mother to see them safe. Yeah, but how are we supposed to do go about doing that? Zenoria's got the whole world in the palm of its hand. We're supposed to fight against that? The earth may be theirs, but the sky, the heavens will surely favor those who stand for justice. You're right. Sorry for not sounding all too confident. Just be careful, Elaine. Uh, make sure you don't take it all on yourself. I'll be with you every step of the way. Uh, thank you, Lex. I really have come to like, uh, you have really come to become reliable. I can't do this without you. Oh, stop! You're gonna make me blush! <laughs> oh, was Scarlet talking about these two, maybe? Like, are they still at it? Anyway, that's enough training for today. We're gonna miss lunch if we don't get moving. I suppose it is that time. Huh? You see something out there? Oh! It's a ship! Oh my god, the OST, bro. That OST kick in that transition. Whoa, that was clean. That was smooth as hell. The, the, you could feel like the ominous vibes. I love it. It's a ship. That, the colors of that flag. They're for Zenoria. So they found us? This island is no longer safe. We have to tell the others. Got it. You have a cathedral? I'll go to the town, make sure they know what's coming. Oh, we're already getting into this? No wasting time? Okay, alright, let's go. We got Zenorian soldier. Seal off the harbor and do it quick. Not a soul gets off this island under our watch. Now we're gonna kick your asses. Come get this work, bums. Oh, who is this big guy? Wait! What the heck, dude? All soldiers have alighted, sir? Bro, what the heck? So you're a traitor too. Either you're a traitor or you're a spy. Either this guy Hodrick is a traitor too or he's a spy. He's either or. Dispatch the vanguard to the cathedral. But, but it would kind of make sense for how he would know about this place, right? If Hodrick is here, it would make sense for why he would come to, they would come to this island because he would be able to pick it up probably. Yeah, target is probably the sun. The target is probably Elenia's son. Which Hodrick would know all about that, that ish. Bro, you scumbag. You're trash. I'm gonna put you in a duffy and ship your ass out of here. And remember where to apprehend the target alive? Huh. Huh. You coward. Grand Palivia Cathedral. Oh my gosh. What is this playing? There's too much going on. Wait, what the heck, bro? What happened to my no instant freaking dialogue uh, progression? It is off. Oh, Heavenly Father, ruler of land and sky above, we pray this day for deliverance from evil. Bro, this OST is off. Grant us the meager sustenance to nourish our fragile bodies in the times to come. Grant us the meager sustenance to nourish our fragile bodies in the times to come. Loki, I shouldn't have played the demo. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no. I shouldn't have played the demo, bro. This was a mistake. 
Playing the freaking demo was a mistake. I made a mistake. Aw, oh, crap. Glide our lost souls onto on the path to salvation. Shine down your radiant light upon us for darkness looms thick through all corners of Feverith. Such is my request as your humble servants. Um, why? Because if this gets any more fire, I'm going to be conflicted on what to do, that's why. In the name of the guardian unicorn, and that of the holy mother. So unicorn is like the god they pray to. They pray to like a, the horse unicorn. Like Pegasus, I guess. Elaine, is that you? What if it's the troops? Oh, never mind. Oh, I was right. It is the troops. How many times must I ask you not to stop around in the cathedral? Who's there? What is the meaning of this? Oh, um, I hope Vanillaware, if they ever make a new sci-fi game, will allow for more unique designs. Hmm. I think it'll probably have to depend. I feel like a lot of the reason why there wasn't so much unique design in 13 Sentos is mainly because of the school uniforms, I feel like. More so than the sci-fi aspect. Although that still does a role, obviously. <laughs> Well, looks like what we got. Uh, look, uh, well, look what we've got here. Since we're the first to show. Oh, they want the girl. Wait, hold on. They want the. Wait, why am I pausing? Um, they want the girl, not the son. They don't want Elenia's son. They want the girl. Rough her up if he wants, but don't forget the girl dies and our heads will roll too. Oh, they want her. They don't want Elaine. Oh. Such depravity will not go unpunished. Not in the house of the Heavenly Father. Yeah, well then you best get pranked. You better get uh then you best get pranked to your god. <laughs> Bro, she actually made him drop to his knees. Damn it, she's fast. Yeah. Oh, okay. Are you okay, Scarlet? Oh my god, his eyes. I just noticed right now, dude, his eye color is so freaking... It contrasts so nicely with the blue. Only a little shaken, that's all. What the heck is going on here, Elaine? A ship has come ashore on Palebian soil, one hoisting the banner of the Zenorian army. Man, if Black they care, and are they aware that you're the crown prince? I can't say for certain. But we know one thing. We can't let these people alone. They are our enemy and they have to be stopped. Dude, I gotta play that back. We gotta play this back. Yes, it'll be problematic if my cathedral sees any more bloodshed, uh, any more bloodshed this day. Come, let's move us let's move outside. Your Highness, it's a relief to see you unharmed. What's up, Yosef? You look like you haven't got older like at all. 
Chloe? Where's Rex? I mean, not Rex, where's Lex? Maybe that's a translation. That could be a translation problem. Maybe his name is actually Rex. But because R and L always gets confused, like with Judith, um, well, not with Judith, with Judith's last name and then Reen, for example, from Trails. Could be that kind of situation. Yeah, I think his name is Rex. I think so. I'm not positive, though. He went ahead to alert the town. We'd best find him and get to the harbor. But before that, uh, Elaine, my prince, this belongs to you. Is he gonna give him the ring? It's the ring. This is. The ring of the unicorn. Queen Elenia wished for you to have it. To be truth, uh, to be to, uh, to say the truth, I had intended to wait till signs of age played more deeply across your face, but we no longer have such a luxury. I have the utmost faith you'll see it secured. Uh, my prince? Uh, for my mother, a keepsake? I think it's more than that, by the way. Thank you for this, Joseph. Well then, we gotta be, uh, let's be off. What does that ring do, though? Okay, I'm gonna grab a bite of some food real quick because I'm freaking hungry. stages are the fields of combat where allied and enemy units wage war in real time each battle stage has victory conditions oh each battle stage has victory conditions that must be fulfilled in order to complete it such as defeating the enemy commander deploying units allied units can be deployed from any base flying a blue flag First, move the cursor to the command post, then give Elaine's unit the order to deploy. What? Reduction? Wait, what? Stage damage reduction plus 50%. Spend Valor points to deploy a unit. What is Valor points? So Valor Points is what's in the upper left corner. Deploying a unit consumes one Valor Point. Okay. From the gauge displayed in the upper left of the screen. How do I build Valor? There you go. Valor Points can be replenished by defeating enemies, liberating towns and fortresses, and more. Okay. Elaine, look! They've already reached the town. Then we know our first aim, we must dispatch those soldiers as quick as possible. 
So once you leave, do you lose the buffs? Like once you leave the flag area, you lose all those buffs or whatever? He already has the ring of the unicorn equipped. Increase damage dealt by 20%? Reduce damage dealt by 20%? What? That seems OP to me. Wait, what the heck is this? View wrapper overview? What the hell is that? There's like three hearts. I don't know. Priestess? A priestess Judith? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know about that one, Chief. What is this? Right. When an allied unit encounters an enemy unit, the battle menu will appear at the bottom of the screen. Use it to organize your forces and view enemy details before battle. Select battle once you finish preparing to enter the fray. <laughs> Automatically according to the various predetermined rules. First, the combat. Uh, first, a combatant's initiative determines their turn order within battle. Okay, so is initiative like agility? So basically, initiative stat is kind of like agility, essentially. When a combatant's turn arrives, they will use one of their active skills. Okay. Using an active skill consumes action points. And how do I know how many action points I have available? Combatants will take turns using active skills in order, uh, in order according to their initiatives. Battle will continue until all combatants run out of AP. Battle will continue until all combatants are run out of AP. Passive skills will trigger automatically when certain conditions are met, such as being hit with an attack. Passive skills will trigger automatically when certain conditions are met, such as being hit with an attack. First, Elaine's Noble Guard uh, triggers when he is attacked, causing him to protect himself. Using a passive skill consumes passive points. Okay. Scarlet's Quick Heal triggers when an ally takes damage, thus healing that ally. Oh, he dodged. Finally, the enemy's parting blow triggers at the end of battle, performing an additional attack. What? Finally, the enemy's parting blow skill triggers at the end of battle. Performing an additional attack. The battle will end when all combatants have run out of AP, or when all combatants on one side have been defeated. Okay. You can also press square to view the battle log. I already, I, okay, I already saw that. Wait, what the heck? Wait, so I won despite the fact the other enemy still had HP? Is it because I have two alive and they only have one alive? So we won? I'm confused. Why did I win? If neither unit is defeated in a battle, the side with the lower percentage HP remaining is the loser. Ah, okay, okay. So once your AP meter runs out, literally the battle stops? 
So once all units run out of AP in the fight, the battle just ends and whoever has the higher HP just wins by default? Huh. Okay. Upon losing a battle, the defeated unit is knocked back and enters a waiting state, rendering it immobile for a short time. Okay. We almost have them, just one more push. Now what? Do we still attack? First strikes. Engaging a waiting unit will grant the attacking unit a first strike. A unit executing a first strike will always act first regardless of initiative. Ah, uh, so basically you don't want to get caught. Basically, you want to try to not lose so that way you can get caught, get with, caught get with the, the, the blowback of the first strike. I guess. Battle ends when no one can fight anymore, even if the enemies are still alive, in which case you need to fight them again. Okay, okay, okay. I've been reading uh, Trigun, the manga is really good. Trigun is that one, I think his name is Nash, is it Nash the guy? Is Nash the name of the MC? I think he has kind of like a blondish hair, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what you're talking about, on bars? But okay, the manga is really good. Interesting, interesting. I've always been meaning to- I've always kind of wanted to check it out, but I never ended up getting to it. It just always stayed on the backlog. Like a lot of the other things. Oh, so it's a tra traditional uh, turn to base strategy. I was hoping the battles would have some combat. Yeah, it looks like there's no like actual active combat here. Like we don't actually do anything. Um, it looks strictly like uh... Oh, uh, this feels a lot like uh... This feels a lot like FF12 actually. The, the gameplay here feels a little bit like FF Troll, I want to I wanna say. Like how you just set commands and you just let it go, you don't really do anything yourself. Bash the stampede, yeah, 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 bash, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought so, I thought so. Uh, good, all that remains now is to reclaim the town. That is where Rex headed, right? I hope he's okay. Gar garrisoning a unit in a town, port or other facility will allow that unit to liberate the facility. I totally just forgot what that said. I totally just blanked out what that said right now. Liberation? Liberating facilities will replenish valor points and boost your score upon completing the stage. Additionally, facilities that have been liberated will serve as bases from which allied units can be deployed. Okay, okay. Alright. Rex! Hey, uh, sorry about that. They caught me off guard there. But don't worry, everyone's safe. I made sure of it. I knew I was right to count on you, and I'm glad you're unharmed as well. Still, I wish I could have done more, though. Here, let me scout out ahead to make up for it. Units can be ordered to move to any location you specify. Select Rex's unit, then move him to the marked location. Just what I was hoping for, it's time to show these guys what I'm made of. Yeah, FF12 is the biggest obvious influence. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Though I feel like this does it better because it being a turn-based thing means it's more structured so you can actually plan things. Mm, 
gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Wait, are you seriously gonna take on everybody by yourself, dude? You're insane. I don't understand how to like change my equipments. How do I change my equipment? Yeah, we're taking a lot of damage. You think? Bro, might have gone too eager there. You think, dude? The game freaking set me up. Rex, no, we'll never make it in time. Allow me, your highness. Different units have different degrees of mobility. The higher the status, the quicker they'll move through a battle stage. What? A unit's combined mobility is determined by the individual mobility stats of its members. A unit's combined mobility is determined by the individual mobility of the stats of its members. Wait, what just happened? I am your foe this day, prepare to be struck down. Wait, so is that how you save units? So units that get defeated and lose and they get put into like the, the, the sleeper time of the rest mode and they're left vulnerable? This is how you interrupt it? I am your foe this day, prepare to be struck down. When two allied units are in close proximity, one can swap in for the other. Press L1 or R1 to have Yosef's unit swap in for Rex's. Oh, that's interesting. Before battle, you will see a prediction of how much damage each unit will take. Note how these predictions change when swapping units. Wait, what? Before battle, you will see a prediction of how much damage each unit is going to take. This is Was that there before? I don't think that was there before. Yeah, get one shot it. Get your dumbass one shot it. Are you alright? Somehow, yeah. Sorry for making you worry. You know it's a miracle you can even put your armor on straight? Here, this medicine should perk you up again. Healing Tonic S times 3. That swap thing is available anytime as long as you're close enough. It's mostly to prevent frustration from having to manage units with different, different speeds. 
That swap thing is available anytime as long as you're close enough. It's mostly to prevent frustration from having to manage units with different speeds. Wait, what do you mean? Wait, what do you mean manage units with different speeds? Frustration? What are you talking about? When a combatant's HP falls to zero, they will be rendered incapacitated. Items and skills can restore HP and revive incapacitated combatants. At least they don't die die. If they die die, then that would be a, that would be a major struggle for me. Select the items option from a unit's action menu to use an item. Woo! I needed that. Chloe, perhaps you'd better serve watching after Rex directly. I fear he's a bit of a liability on his own. Damn. Very much agreed. Damn. It's tough. It's tough out here for a redhead. No more messing around, Rex. I'll be keeping a close eye on you. Ugh. Now then, this area appears to be safe for the time being. Let us hurry on to the harbor. My word, but that's Hodrick. That's what I said. He and I used to stand as the stalwart pillars of Cornea's defense. What might possibly have changed him? Prepare yourself, rebels. Any foolish enough to defy Emperor Galerius must be put to the sword. It seems combat is our only path forward. Indeed, riding this land of the enemy must be our first- Oh, ridding, riding, riding, ridding. Um, ridding this land of the enemy must be our first and only priority. No matter who that enemy may be. I like it, I like it. Defe defeat conditions before the time limit expires. What do you mean, time limit? Like, if you want a specific unit to fight an enemy, but some other one ends up triggering them because they were moving faster, as long as the two were close enough, you can stop the one you want in. Oh, I didn't even think about it like that. If you want a specific unit to fight an enemy, but someone thing else gets to it first because it's too quick, if they're close enough, they could just switch. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Selecting multiple units. Move the cursor while holding X to select multiple units and give them all the same order at once. After selecting desired units, release X and choose a destination. And order all su su selected units to head toward that location. Pressing X during a battle stage will automatically pause the game. The movement items commands can be used even while the game is paused. Press circle to resume the game. What? What is going on? どうさて I'm confused, bro. Move the cursor while holding X to select multiple units and give them all the same order at once. What? どうするべきか? I'm confused. What is happening? Nugao. 
Bro, what the heck is happening here? Oh, okay, I have to stop pausing it. Okay. いかがいたしましょう。かしこまりました。これ the pause just stops everything on the map so you can make whatever plays you need to. There's actually a setting in the menu that auto pauses. After most things, you'll probably want it. The pause just stops everything on the map so you can make whatever plays you need to. There's actually a setting in the menu that auto pauses after most things. You'll probably want it. I think I turned that off. This auto pause at start of stage is this what you're talking about? Let me save just in case. Hold X while not selecting a specific unit and scroll the cursor over everyone to select multiple. I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured out how to do it. It took me a little while to like get it though. It definitely took me a little while to get it. <laughs> So how do I know who's... Do 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 yes. Okay, so when I make a move, they can make a move? Yeah, auto-pause, that was it. Okay, so I need to turn it off. I turned it on, so you say to turn it off. Mamoru. Bro, Yosef is the only reason we're winning. Yosef is broken, dude. Like, he's way too epic broken. Kurugai. Why do they keep coming after him? You're finna lose. しないでみせよ。切り裂けたのは。正しい。やりましたな。やせろ。俺が相手だ。
いい調子だったよしさあ出た。Wait, what did I do? Sate. Nothing's happening. Ikuto, watashi me ni omakase yo. Omakase yo. さて次は次はどうすべきか厳しいな私が相手ださあ来いこれはま私が相手好きにはさせない北条際の悪い奴らだここで始末してやる This struggle will only prolong the pain except the mercy of a swift demise ホードリックホードリックどうしてだ Why are you doing this? 母上のこの駅士だったお前が You who once stood as my mother's royal guard at night 何者だこぞ Enough of your questions, kid 邪魔をするなら容赦はせんぞ And drip for your nice shawl, I'll see you suffer for it Is this the dialogue you're talking about, Moose? Like how sometimes there's stuff that will play? 任せる That did nothing All buffs removed. Bro, we're dodging everything. Such firm defenses, our weapons barely leave a scratch. What are you talking about? We took it on half the HP. Perhaps my magic will work then. Lead this to me, Elaine. Hold R2 to fast forward the game, advancing time quickly. Fast forward can be used both in stages and during battles. If the game is paused, fast forward will automatically resume it. どうでるべきか。Wait, does that mean? Ikuto. How does this work? Yaba so da na. Ore ga aite da. Kuru ga i. Ah, okay. So you can't you can't have multiple units attack. It's good information to know. What? I lost? How did I lose? Yeah, I think you can get another one if Yosef fights him, but nothing for Rex because he doesn't know him. Yeah, that's why I wanted to get Rex in first. I figured, um, I figured he wouldn't um, be able to get a dialogue in, but I wanted him to get some fight, uh, some hits. But I lost. I thought I would have did more damage to him than I thought. Did I read that wrong? Maybe I read that wrong.
よしさあ来い私が相手だおいよなこなっけよ好きにはさす手加減はせぬさあ来い来るがいいホドリック本当にお前なのか Hodrick, is that really you? I don't understand. What has motivated the shift in allegiance? Cornia no Seikishi Joseph. Cornia's most decorated knight, Joseph. Very well, I shall close the book on your tail myself. Affliction of beauty? Hey, we got the dialogue at least. So, the goal. What I got, I did. Yeah, Scarlet really like clutched up. Scarlet is basically the only reason we were doing damage to this person. Oh, we got a level up. HP, physical attack, physical defense, magic, accuracy, critical rate. Can we gain AP from leveling up? Can we get AP meter from leveling up? Stage clear. Okay, I don't know what this is, but sure. As long as he holy guards, Yosef can't get status ailments. That's crazy. That's insane. What the heck is this, bro? What are these trophies and these crown stuff? What is this? Renown, honors, war funds, huh? What? <laughs> what foolishness is this? One such as I brought low by the cornea vermin that gnawed our ankles? Bro, what the hell happened to you? Hodrick. Hodrick. You have fallen far indeed. How many times did you stare death in the face at her majesty's side? Now look at what you've become. I may stand as your sword master, no longer. But I can yet offer you a merciful end to your descents. Wait. Your Highness? Hodrick, Don't tell me Elaine is going to use the talk no jutsu tactic. Tell me, Hodrick, do you remember the times you and I played together when I was still just a boy? Yours Yours was a bond of loyalty few knights could hope to equal. Why cast that aside and bend the knee to Galerius? I refuse to cut down a friend without first knowing how we've reached this grim conclusion. Okay. A simple reason is all I ask, please. What is he doing? What the heck is going on? The ring? What sorcery is this? What is happening? My head. Oh, mind control? Brainwashing? Mind control? What am I doing here? Nani? 
A spell to shackle the hearts of men. It's the only way I can think to describe it, my prince. That ill fated day, all the lords closest to your mother turned upon her without so much as a moment's notice. They all got brainwashed? Bro, so they all got brainwashed. So what, the ring has the cure or some shit? Unfortunately, my memories end there as well. Oh! Wait, so is Valmore being brainwashed? Is Valmore also being brainwashed? And there's some higher, there's a higher entity at play here that's actually the puppet master. Like there's somebody actually puppeteering everything. I'm Mr. Eisen of this universe, controlling everything. Valmore is just nothing but a pawn, a friggin' puppet. He's also being brainwashed. Or Valmore brainwashed all the other lords that we had dialogues with, and they betrayed Cornelia. I mean, not Cornelia. They betrayed Elenia. And because Elenia didn't have the ring, because she gave it to uh, her boy, she couldn't unbrainwash them. Actually, don't answer that question. Not even talk no jutsu, they're all brainwashed, and Elaine has the only cure. So the ring is the only cure, interesting. A frightful power, if that, if, 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 if that what you say is true. This spell of control, it could be called. But what if Galerius himself is being controlled? What about that? Such magic would go far in explaining how Galerius so swiftly brought Beverett to its knees. Bro, brainwashed for 10 years, bro. I shudder to think what unspeakable evil I've wrought upon our world these last 10 years. There is no greater misdeed than turning my sword, my weapon upon you, Elaine Denka, Elaine, your prince. My prince. That's enough, you mustn't blame yourself any further. But I do wonder, how is this ring capable of unmaking the spell? In truth, I had believed it to be a mere regalia, a symbol of your birthright and nothing more. To think the power of cleansing actually exists. Your Highness, that is the ring of the unicorn, ancestral treasure of Cornea's royal lineage. Literally, actual literal, legend speaks of your ancestors wielding it to purify evil, but I had believed such tales to be mere fiction, bro, it's actual literal. It's actually literally like cleansing. The Orthodoxy has a similar story about the Holy Unicorn, how it was a sacred beast able to purge darkness from our lands. It's entirely possible that the ring that bears its image is somehow capable of the same power. Interesting. Hmm, so we just gotta go on a purification spree. Should Galerius' rule be built upon a foul sorcery that fetters our people? Then this ring is the ray of light that will pierce its wicked hearts and free the people. My prince, Elaine. Indeed, we were able to free those bound by his cruel magics. It might just bring the iron wall of Zenoria crashing down. I am all told I have often found myself plagued with doubt. Is it justice that guides our march or paltry vendetta? Hmm. Yet the answer is clear as day now. The path before us is laid bare and all that remains now is to walk it. Okay, okay, okay. 
Ave. Mother, walk it, I will. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I do like it. I do like it. I do like it. Just a little bit. Iko. Today marks the first foray into the mist of despair, which hang heavy over our home. I have gained my resolve. It's time that we uh dispel it. The mist. It, it may take days, months, or even years, but I shall see the duties of my bloodline fulfilled and slay Galerius like the beast he is. Okay, kid. All right then. We're on the ship. And how does Fedric Hodric fare? Well, all things considered, any fog that lingered in his mind seems to have cleared, and he stands ready to fight once more. Oh, um, so it's not a full revenge tale, but he gets it uh he gets it along the way, that'll be cool too. Exactly, exactly. It doesn't have to be a full-on revenge tale like Velvet or Sasuke, you know what I'm saying? If he gets it along the way, that's also cool with me! By the way, your highness, allow me to brief you on our plans for when we arrive. Clive! What's up, bro? You making your appearance in this game? Among the Liberation members I've mustered in my past excursions is a young yet skilled knight by the name of Clive. I'll ride to bring him to you the moment we've reached solid ground. Got it. I'll be leaving. I'll be. Uh, I'll be leaving it to you. Elaine, can you talk for a moment? Is something wrong? Well, you see. Uh, actually, you know what? It's nothing. Yeah, it's something. What? Are you sure? Anxiety will be the death of you if you keep it bottled up like that. I'm sorry, but it really isn't important, I assure you. Do they have something going on? What's happening here? It's just our lives have changed so drastically from the peace we had only yesterday. It barely seems real. Every single time, like, whenever these two, like, talk to each other alone, there's, like, a different, like, more joyous music that plays, like, lightheartedness. I find that to be very interesting detail. I can't say I feel any different. Ooh, I've always known this day would come. この10年、ジョセフに指示して鍛錬を重ねてきたのはこのためだ。it's for this reason I've spent all the years training under Yosef's careful instruction. It's a shame you never had the chance to meet my mother. She was always one to blaze a path forward, royal blade and arm. But as her heir, the royal heir to Corncornia, I intend to lead in much the same way. Is that why you and Rex spent all your days banging swords down at the shore? <laughs> so you were watching, were you? You know, Hod Hodrick was likely but one of the many. There's gonna be a lot, lot others like him. And assuming the others who surrendered to Zenoria are being controlled as he was, we may just stand a chance in this. Yet our liberation is still in its nascent days, promising yes, but gravely fragile as well. Ooh. Which is precisely why I'll need your help, Scarlet, to reclaim peace for all who have suffered. Alain. Yeah, dude, why do I have like why do I why do I get the feeling like this is like I don't know. Of course. 
I'll do everything I can, as is my role as priestess of the Palevian Church. Hey, don't forget about me. I'm gonna help too. Rex? Rex? <laughs> what? Oh, I know her voice actor. She had, I think her voice actor is the same person who did, um, freaking, what's it called? Yuna from Trails. Or that one Ox lady from Yeast 9. And what, I, I can't remember her name, so I'm just referring to characters. I think so. Yes, it's her for sure. I, don't, I forgot her name, but I know who this is. The voice actor. I know it. I'm sorry, my prince decorum doesn't come naturally to the school. It's alright when you've known each other as long as we have. There's no reason to let formality bind us. Yeah, it's so her voice. Oh my god. But there are protocols to observe, rules we must follow as vassals in service of the crown. Um, she is set up as the childhood friend. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Oh, right, right, right. Because he, cause he abandoned his hometown as a kid. Well, not really abandoned. But he got, like, um, he had to leave the, his hometown, his own home place. And he escaped to this area. So he would have grown up as her friend. Ah, okay, that makes sense. So they're set up as, like, childhood friends. But you can pick anyone as a romance interest. Ah, okay, okay. Still? I'm on the same mind. What mind he has, that is. Your Majesty, I'll give my all in the royal name. Everybody, thank you so much. My heart is at rest. I couldn't ask for a finer group of friends. Okay, that's kind of cool. This, this the UI is pretty clean, dude. The UI is pretty clean. That was the intermission. Wait, so have I not even started chapter one? Wait, intermission? Does that mean I haven't started chapter one yet? We are going to wrap up the stream shortly, guys. We are going to wrap this up very shortly here. Wait, what the heck is going on now? Wait, what is this? A difficulty focused around pushing your tactical mind to its limits? Yeah, because I got so much strategy, right? I'm a strategical expert. For players who are quite skilled at strategy games, I'm skilled at strategy games, absolutely. Have y'all not seen me? A difficulty focused around tactical gameplay for players familiar with strategy Yeah, I'm an expert. What do y'all mean? I'm a pro. I'm a professional. Call to action. Wait, so this still isn't chapter one, bro? This is not chapter one still yet? What? This is still the intro? I'm still doing intro two hours later. This is reminding me of FF7, bro. I'm not FF7. This is reminding me of FF16. This is reminding me of FF16. This game is pretty easy, so expert is probably fine actually. Oh, it's easy? I see. Well, then I'm gonna have to find a way to make it more difficult. We will have to find a way to make it tougher. Oh, crap! Oops. Oopsies. 
Though I don't know if we should help you out with good teams or just let you flounder. Just let me flounder, bro. Just let me flounder like a magic carp. What's wrong, Elaine? Why did you stop? Because we're surrounded? That was quick as hell. Damn it, who the hell are you? Let me go! Oh, it's this guy. Chloe! Ronald, it's you, Yukesama. I should have known you'd be behind this. What is the meaning of this? What are you doing with Scarlet? Do they want the girl because she's like a maiden of the unicorn and then like then she could possibly be a threat? Is that why? Because she she has she's like a priestess. She could like bless everybody. So the he thinks that she is the problem to his reign instead of Elaine with the ring. I don't know. Guesses don't answer. Apologies for the icy reception, but we got business with the girl. Let that girl let her let the girl go this instant. What kind of business do you have with her? No, I don't think that will be happening. I act under orders from Emperor Galerius himself. After what he plans to do with her, that's not one for one of my uh that's not for one of my station to know. Yeah, I shall see it done all the same. I'm gonna be taking the girl with me. Wow, that quickly she's already kidnapped. What? That was fast, bro. Scarlet Scarlet, no! That was quick. My work here is concluded. I leave the rest to you and your capable band. Aubin? Don't worry, boss. I'll keep. Uh, I'll earn my keep in plenty more. Straight into the hornet's nest, huh? You've got to do something, Elaine. Hear me, soldiers of Cornea. I ask that you stand aside for your returned prince. Sorry, kid. Can't do that. It's nothing personal. Just following orders from the guy paying the coin. Damn, we've no hope of overcoming such numbers. Yosef! Yo! Clive's character design in this game is clean, bro! He's not no Clive from FF16, but his character design is nice! What's up, Blondie? With us, everyone, I beg you. Come, my prince. Oh my god, his voice actor! Bro, I like Clive already. He, this is the way he's voiced by this character, this, this person. I don't remember the name, unfortunately, but I know who it is. Who is the character he sounds like? Damn it, the Mots. Oh my god, this is the way he's voiced by Bro, I can't remember. Now I want to look it up. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look this up real fast. Hold on, hold on. I'm ashamed to hear you met such misfortune before I arrived. Bro, he's. His, his design is clean, bro. Denka, Karega Senkok Shokai Stita, Kaiho Gun Soshi no Ichin, Kuraibudis. Your Highness, this man is Clive, the knight we spoke of earlier. Ah. Shkashi. Is this guy, dude? Who is he voiced by? Why does it feel familiar?
I don't know why he feels familiar. Oh, he's freaking, um, he's that one knight dude from ReZero. The guy with the purple hair, Julius. That's how I remember him. Still, it rankles the mind. Oh, he's freaking Kurtz! That's where I remember it from. That's Kurt's voice actor. That's where I remember. I remember from freaking ReZero and Trails. That's why. Now it makes sense. Bro, this game... Dude, this, they casted like all the, like, the fire ones. Damn. I never would have dreamt that Galarius was after Scarlet and not you, my prince. That's what I was saying. I think they don't think that he has the ability... I think Galarius is under the impression that Scarlet is the threat. Because she's the priestess, the maiden, to the to the unicorn. The unicorn has the power of blessings. That's probably why. Who was that knight who took her? You know, you don't know who he is? His name is Renault, formerly a proud servant of Queen Elenia. Not unlike myself. And just like uh, just as I fell victim to Galerius and his foul magic, it would seem he has met with a similar fate. All the same, why Scarlet? I feel like it's because of what I said. Perhaps her role as a priestess has something to do with it. Exactly, bro. Oh, lately I've heard tell. Uh, lately I've heard tell of Zen Zenora's desire to spread its roots into the Orthodoxy. Making one with direct ties a prime target. Uh, in any case, we cannot allow Scarlet to fall into the hands of Galerius. Her safety, uh, her risk to her safety is clear. And sitting idly by only serves to stroke my worry further. Let us be off at once. Bro, who the heck is this? What is your fits? Travis? Your name is Travis, bro? What's up, Travis, dog? What's good? Wouldn't you do that if I wouldn't do that if I was you? No chance you are helping the girl if you don't even know where you're going. You don't, you, no, there's no chance you can help the girl if you don't even know where you are going. Where you're going, rather. Bro, who the hell? And you are... Travis. Don't worry, he has a friend. His name is Travis. Travis. A collaborator of mine, a Nakama. Okay. He is a spy. The, 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 the fit made me feel like that. Either that or like a thief. Fancy way to refer to a spy. You need intel dirt or just the latest weather. I'm your man. Okay, okay, okay. And what of not? Have you uh, figured out his um, where he's went? His location? Ah. Road east faster than a clap of thunder. It can, I can only assume he is going for the city. But the real problem is his army of mercenaries. We want after Renault. We have to go to them. Fine by me. Your Highness. I understand. I understand your wish to hurry to try to save uh, Scarlet's. We all share that feeling, but we have no hope of aiding Scarlet without first routing the enemy before us. I got it. We depart as soon as we're able. And this is where we're gonna end. So that fortress over there serves as the enemy command post? Indeed, your highness and the region will not uh, know peace until we can claim it as our own. House Carls are excellent attackers who can lower an enemy's defense to heal to deal heavy damage. As for us, this fortress here is our first and final line of defense. If the enemy overruns it, we'll have nowhere left to turn. Then we defend it at any cost and proceed forth with extreme caution. 
So I'll get defeated if the Liberation's command post is captured. Defeat Aubin. And that right here, folks, is where we're gonna wrap it up. We are gonna wrap it up right here for today. I'm having an absolutely amazing time with Unicorn Overlord demo. This game is fire. It's phenomenal. It looks great. Um, yeah. I don't really have much else to say. Besides, that's really good. So we'll be back next Wednesday. We will be back next Wednesday for the next Unicorn Overlord demo stream. And then um, whether or not we do another stream after that directly or if I do like Kakarot instead, I'm not sure. We'll find out later on. But for now, y'all, that is it. That is a wrap. Thank you guys so much for coming through to the stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thank you all so much for the continued support and coming through, watching this on, lurking, on live chat with me, all that good stuff. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Um, again, tomorrow, we will be doing the FF7 Crisis Core Reunion live stream that I usually do on Fridays. We're doing it tomorrow on Wednesday because I'm not streaming this Friday evening. So, hope to see you guys there. But then, y'all, that's it for now. Take it, take it easy, everybody. Have a good night, morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time zone y'all are in. And I hope to catch you guys uh, next time. Peace out, everybody. Your boy's out of here. Bye bye The save happened so quick. I'll uh, see you later, Moose. Take it easy, man.